So, so um, an electric slow cooker is one of those kitchen gadgets I would never buy for myself because Electricity is expensive and also I'm a little paranoid about leaving things cooking overnight. Is anyone else like that? I don't know. But a non-electric slow cooker I could kind of get into. And I've heard I heard about Wonder Bags ages ago and they seem like a cool idea because they're basically a big bean bag thing and what you do is you get your pot and you put it to boiling point and then you wrap it up in the bean bag and then you can leave it for however long you need it to and uh, they seem a little I could buy one you can get them but then I just decided to make them and I will show you how I made them so here's what you need they're things and just sort of um fold the material into a triangle and then trace it with a circle-y thing you know try and round it out into a circle and then you can cut it out I actually recommend doing one piece of material at a time don't do both of them at once because it's going to be too thick to cut as you can see it's not working and here's another circle I traced to make the top part of the wonder bag and you can see it's a lot easier to cut there. Now I'm just, here's a little inner circle thingy to make in the center. And I think I had like a little mat underneath, so try and make it as thick as possible with the thickest pencil you can find. And then, you know, do the, divide them into their sections and draw the lines. Make sure it's straight. It's kind of all I can recommend, really. Use a ruler. That's how you make it straight. I'm showing you where I've sewed and where I haven't sewed. And that's how squishy it should be. Yeah. So I have made them. This is, this is mine. I went with red because it just seemed like a fun idea at the time. Because it's a fun color. Now I do recommend actually tracing everything. I do recommend tracing everything with a pencil and use the thickest pencil you can get like that's what i used b trace everything everything that you need to sew trace it onto the material and it will show up hopefully if you get a thick enough pencil and then you can sew everything because it's a pain trying to work things and it's a pain trying to do things with beanbag stuffing because you try and sew it up and then it just goes bleh. And so I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out as a slow cooker. And I heard it's like really good for keeping food hot. And my parents live half an hour away from the center of town. And every time my mom comes in, she likes to get something for takeaway. But by the if she gets something hot, by the time she gets back, it's gonna be cold. So I made one for her. And. Um, she might try it out as a hot food transporter, so we will see. So I made another one, it's a little smaller, see that's my big one, small one. Now I have, I have come up with a technique that works better, do draw out everything, so all the lines, all those lines, and the way I sewed it the way, um, so you basically half there and then down there. So you leave a little bit of a hole and it's big enough to put things in but it's not so big that everything's going to spill out and stuff. Also, you should, if you don't have like the proper string, use some shoelace. So this is some old shoelace I had and my mom suggested this and she replaced hers 
with shoelace. So that's all gonna work. Yay. Ta-da. Okay, so I've been experimenting with my wonder bag and doing savory things is actually a lot easier because all you have to do is pop everything in a pot, boil it for however long and then you wrap it up and it's good. It's just save it's no it's it's sweet things that I'm having trouble with because you know it's a bit tricky. So I've been experimenting and I think I finally figured out how to make chocolate pudding in a wonder pot. Yay. So all you have to do is like my first attempt was an absolute failure because I just had it, the whole thing in one thing and that didn't work. So you have to put them in little individual things, ramekins, or cups, or whatever, and then then you have to kind of steam it for about 20-30 minutes, and then you wrap it in the Wonder Bag, and you'll, you'll see footage, so it just makes sense to just show you, and it works. It worked, and yeah, eat it now. Yay. Cool. <laughs>